Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. Today we're going to take a look at packages. By creating a package, we can make something happen in-game once that package is claimed or purchased. First, we need to decide what we want to happen, so figure out exactly what commands to run. We then need to take those commands and put them inside of our Tabex package, alongside with our title and a proper description what this package contains. Once we are done configuring our package, we should do a test payment to see if everything is working as expected. We will also take a look at what kind of information you get once a package has been purchased. This is intended as an overview of the process. If you need a step-by-step -step guide, take a look in the description for our video tutorials. Okay, so now that we are on the server, we first need to decide what we want to happen. Any command that you could run as an admin, you can also run automatically through Tabex. So let's not focus on the actual command, let's keep it simple. And if you want more examples of use cases, again, look at some of our tutorials on our YouTube channel. In this case, I want to give myself a diamond sword. Now, since I am operator, I can run commands. So I could do slash give, then the name of the player. So in my case, this is Tabax Academy. Then what I want to give to the player. So this is a diamond sword, sword, how many? I don't think I need 64 of them. So let's just do one for now. And then if we press enter, it will say giving one diamond sword to Tabax Academy. And as you can see, we got our sword directly in our hand. So after you figured out what command to run, it is now time to take that command and transfer it into a Tabex package. From your dashboard, you can find your packages on the left. Here you can see all the different categories that I have, and then there are different packages in those categories. You can create new packages at the top, but let's take a look at what one of these packages looks like. We have the basic information, so the name, the description, and also a picture. The customer should always know what they are getting once they claim or purchase that package. If there are any steps required after the purchase, those should also be in the description. Let's say you are selling a role that allows a player to claim something specific in game. Those instructions should already be laid out inside of the description. Of course, it's great if you give those instructions again once the player joins your server. But again, please make sure that anything attached to this package is already described before it's claimed or purchased, just so things are as clear as possible for everybody. We can then set a price and also decide what kind of payment this is. Is this a recurring payment? Do we want to allow only one-off purchases? Or does this package allow both? And do we want to give that choice to the customer? There are many benefits to offering subscriptions. In the description, I will also link to a, one of our recent videos talking about the benefits of offering subscriptions. We can also set when we want to remove this from the customer. So for example, after one month, especially in the combination with a subscription payment, this is a very powerful thing. Then we can add multiple deliverables. As you can see, there are more options than server commands, but let's focus on the server commands for now. This is the command that we figured out inside of the game, GIF, and then the username, then the item, and then the amount. To make this work on Tabex, the only thing we need to do is change this username. We want to change this to a variable. And in this case, we want to use the name variable. So this is all we need to do. We have several in-depth tutorials explaining the whole concept of variables and even showing you how you can create your own custom variables to add a whole nother layer of things you can do with your packages. As you can see, there are quite a few more categories you can go through and configure, including those custom variables. We need to select what game server we want to execute this command on. If you have multiple servers, of course, you can select exactly what server or servers this command needs to be executed on. Now that we have our package configured, how do we make a test payment? Let's first of all update or save our package. Under settings and under checkout, we have test mode enabled, so we can just do a test payment by going to the dashboard and then viewing our web store. Here we can then find that package that we just created, add it to our basket and proceed to our checkout. Since we have that test mode enabled, we can also see that here test payment is active. But this is exactly what it would look like for the customer if this was a legit payment. So let's fill in our information and click on pay. And then since it's just a test payment, we can just click on complete payment. It says thank you for your order. Let's click on continue. Back at our dashboard, let's go to payments and then payments again. At the top, we can see that payment that just happened when we click on view. There is a lot of details that we get. First, we get general details and details from the customer, like the transaction ID, what kind of payment method was used, 
We can also get a breakdown of the payments. Of course, this is a test payment, but if this is a real payment gateway, all these fees will exactly show the breakdown of the fees. We get some more information about the customer, including their payment history. On the right, we can see what kind of package has been purchased and also get more details of what this package contains. And if we need to, we can also from here directly go to that package. We can see if there are any coupons or discounts and also if there are any notes for this payment. Then scrolling down, we can see exactly what commands are attached to this package. Again, this is our diamond sword command. We can see that the status is currently still due. Then once this has been processed, this will move down to the processed commands over here. Hopefully this explains a little bit what a package is. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.